Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. There has been some recent news flow regarding the public procurement of new electricity generation and storage. Terence Creamer joins me to discuss the latest. Hi Terence. Hi Sunal. The big news has been on the battery storage front. Yes, we know that there's quite a lot of action on the battery storage front. Eskom's got its own program, which has been underway for a number of years, with a risk mitigation program that also included all those power ships that lost their grid uh, connections, uh, has large battery components to it. But the first standalone inaugural uh, battery storage public procurement was launched in March last year. And in November, we had the first four preferred bidders for these substations in the Northern Cape. And uh, they said there would be value for money negotiations for with a, a fifth preferred bidder. And uh, last week, uh, the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy announced that Red Sands had been selected as, uh, as a preferred bidder under that inaugural program. So that brings to five and raises uh, sort of the allocation is fully taken up uh, for about uh, 530 megawatts, about 2,000 megawatt hours of battery storage. Uh, so that will be fully taken up. Now those projects have to progress to financial close and we'll see how that happens over the next few months. And then we know that there was the, the second bid window launched, a bigger bid window, it's about 615 megawatt uh, uh, and about 2,400 megawatt hours. So that's sort of four hours of storage. Uh, that was launched uh, in December last year, and uh, that is underway, the, the bidding process underway. And then the big news last week was that the third bid window for battery storage uh, was also launched, and uh, that will now get underway. And those are four sites in the Free State. Bid window two was for sites in the Northwest Province. So these are pre-selected sites that Eskom has a number of criteria it uses and then select sites and then these are uh, um, set aside and uh, the IPPs then bid for that substation capacity for these batteries. Deadlines have also been shifted for the latest renewables bid window. Yes, so there's been a shifting of all uh, the deadlines and this has been a chronic problem since the restart of the renewables program after that seven years uh, gap or disruption that we had between 2015 and then the, uh, the new administration coming in under President Ramaphosa and the relaunch of the, uh, the renewables programs and the battery storage and more recently the gas to power program. So there's, there's a lot of action on the public procurement front, but we've been seeing this ongoing shifting of deadlines and the latest two victims of that shift is the bid window seven for the solar and wind, uh, 5,000 megawatts and uh, that's been moved from an uh, initial deadline of the 30th of April to the end of May. And also the second battery storage program has been a shift in that uh, also to accommodate both are really about this, this issue around grid connection and getting cost estimate letters out of Eskom. And uh, that was pushed back for bid window seven and it's had a knock on effect for all the programs. So we, we're now seeing later bid submission dates across the board. Given the steady increase in private projects which compete for grid capacity, is there still appetite for the public programs? I think there's no problem on the battery storage front. I think there, I think there is appetite. We see the bids are coming in. Um, and those are really help in terms of grid strengthening. Um, so they, the Eskom is able to pre-select the substation site. So we started in the north, Northern Cape then we moved to the Northwest Province and now toward, towards the Free State. And that's where there is capacity and these batteries will actually help in terms of grid strengthening and stabilizing. The issue really comes down to the capacity for uh, the generators, so renewables and non-renewables. And we know that there's this, this shortage of grid capacity. We also know that Eskom has been pretty conservative around um, the way they've, you know, implemented issues such as, or instruments such as curtailment. But there is now a new framework in place for that. And the first bid window that is affected by that framework is bid window seven. But that was introduced belatedly. <laughs> um, it wasn't introduced right up front and it really affects the wind projects. So it's going to be very 
interesting to see this bid window seven, what the responses are like. I think um, the introduction of curtailment theoretically should help, but I think it also has, uh, it raises, because it was issue, uh, int introduced late into the program, not from the start, I think it has um, made it even more difficult in some ways to know whether your, your bids outside of those sort of very potent renewable wind resource zones of the Western Eastern Cape and Northern Cape, whether they're going to be competitive at all, you know, and whether there'll be any accommodation for the fact that your price will be higher maybe in Mpumalanga versus prices in the, the Northern Cape, or even with, with curtailment. So it's going to be very fascinating to see what, particularly on the wind side, what bids are returned uh, when this deadline comes at the end of May. Um, and as you say, there's this competing now for scarce grid capacity. There are a lot of projects that were registered last year with NOSA that uh, continues apace. There's a lot of private projects being registered. Um, Eskom hasn't really fully introduced it, its gated approach to grid access. So there's still this head-to-head -head competition between the private and the public programs. Once the gated system is in place, I think the, there will be much more reservation for the public programs than there is currently. So it's, it's really up in the air. And uh, we just hope that it's not going to be a large failure. Uh, I think there's been effort behind the scenes to ensure that, there, that bids will be submitted. But, you know, the, the proof is in the pudding and we'll only know that after the 30th of May when those bids are submitted. Thank you. That's the Second Take Show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis. Also, don't forget to listen to the audio version of Engineering News Daily Email Newsletter.